What is going on everybody? We are back with another video and I want to start off by saying thank you so much everybody that has hit that subscribe button. We are over 300 subscribers. Let's try and hit 400 before the new year. If we could hit 400 before the new year, that'd be insane. You guys are awesome. Keep hitting that like button, keep subscribing. And uh, we're gonna get right into the video guys. Today we're talking about growing uh, your cichlids, you know, like uh, your fry. You know, if you, if you breed cichlids, or uh, if you just end up having cichlids and they breed and uh, then you have babies, what's the best way to get them, you know, to grow a little bit faster? What's the best way to, you know, what, what's the best things to feed them? Stuff like that. So we're gonna talk about that today, guys. And uh, we're actually here down at the shop and uh, I have a tank of a few cichlids here. Uh, Rob was fortunate enough to let me uh, keep some here and raise them up before I take them home. So, uh, without anything else to say, we're gonna get right into it, guys. So, starting off, this is the tank. It's a 40 breeder. There's some Anubias in there. And uh, there's seven Impango Reds in here. There's two uh, Electric Blue Acaras. And then there's two OB Peacocks. This one here is a Red Empress OB. And then this one is just a yellow OB. I don't know if there's a specific name for them or not. Um, I don't get too too far into the names, um, just because like when you get into like scientific names and stuff, it's there's just so many of them and it's so hard to remember them all. But uh, so one of the first things I like to feed is baby brine, live baby brine. So. We put some of this into the tank and I feed this every morning and uh, not only to these guys but I feed it to uh, just about all the fish here in the fish room and uh, the Impanga Reds go nuts for it the sometimes the OBs don't eat it sometimes they do it's just it's such a smaller food and they're a little bit bigger um, the electric blue Acara don't really go after it sometimes they do sometimes they don't um, but the Impanga Reds they go nuts for it and uh, they're smaller than the other four. So uh, those seven definitely, definitely love it. And uh, live baby brine is such a high digestible protein source. Um, and it's great. When I got these in Panga Reds, I mean, they were tiny, absolutely tiny. And they're putting on size rather fast. And um, of course, that all goes into the tank size as well. And what I mean by tank size is the, it doesn't have to be like a huge tank, but the larger the tank in specifications as the amount of surface area of water that you have. And uh, sorry, the reflection on the water there, that's just from the light. Um, the amount of surface area of water that you have um, helps the cichlids grow because there's more swim space and uh, Water changes is gonna be a big thing. Uh, always having clean water in the tank is gonna be huge. Um, you know, like this tank, I'll do a water change on it once every couple of days or once a week, somewhere around those lines. And this tank is just filtered by a sponge filter, so it's very cost efficient. There's a heater in there, excuse me, just because the room doesn't heat hot enough for these fish, but it does for the others. So with that being said, um, heater you can use a sponge filter even though they're a dirty fish uh cichlids produce a lot of waste um so definitely if you want to use uh better filtration than just a sponge filter that's going to help a lot too um i just did this for cost efficiency and um, it works great um the plants in there that's just a nubius nana um just something that you know a little bit of what we have left over in there and you can see that it's it's kind of dirty and um but it doesn't harm it. And uh, so the next food that I like to feed is the Northfin Cichlid Flake. Um, this stuff is very, very good. And um, this stuff's a, it's a bigger flake. And, uh, but I just take a pinch of that and uh, I crush it up uh, in my fingers. And then I just, you know, sprinkle it over top the tank and uh, they love it. The other one is the Bug Pro. Now the Bug Pro, this is just a bigger container because um, we use it here at the shop. 
Um, you, North Bend sells it in, I want to say like a, a 100 gram container or something like that. Um, sorry, I can't get it open. Uh, so it's definitely a good food to feed. But this stuff is, it's rather smaller. I want to say it's like a two millimeter or something like that is what it's labeled as. But it's very small and it crushes easy. So you can always crush it up and put it on the, t on the, in the tank as well. They're going to eat that. And uh, let me put this back. And of course, if you don't have access to hatching live baby brine, another great thing that you can always have on hand is fry starter. So there's a few different companies that make a fry starter. Northfin makes this one. Um, I know New Life Spectrum makes one. Uh, my preference is the North Fin, obviously. And uh, this comes in, the size is 250 microns. And uh, they sell it in a 250 gram bag. And I wanna say they sell it in a 100 gram bag. Don't quote me on that. Um, but this stuff is great. It's awesome for, you know, once they are, you know, just hatch and stuff like that, because it's so small and they're able to eat it. Uh, as well as the live baby brine. That's something great you can also feed if you have the option to hatch it. And it's not hard to hatch. All you need is a, uh, a hatchery and you can even make one out of a two liter bottle. Um, so this is a hatchery. You need a light and then you just need air to tumble it pretty much. And then you would need a marine salt for a tank. So you could use, you know, Fritz salt, you can use instant oceans, um, any like marine salt will work. Um, and then like for one liter of brine shrimp, it's one tablespoon of salt and then one teaspoon of uh, baby brine eggs. And uh, don't ask me where to get the baby brine eggs, I honestly don't know where we get it. Um, but I know it always appears in the fridge when I need more. So, uh, definitely something to look into. Water changes, uh, good food, a nice amount of surface area on the water. So, you know, it doesn't have to be a big tank. It can be just a really long tank. It could be, um, it could be, you know, a shorter tank but it could be longer. So you could do like a, um, if you can come across like a 30 long or a 40 long, something like that. This is just a normal 40 breeder, but it works absolutely great. And uh, because the OBs and the electric blue car didn't really go after the baby brine, uh, we're gonna feed them some cichlid flake. So let me get this open here. Should just left it open when I opened it a minute ago. All right, so just grab a little bit not much because we don't want to overfeed being as we just fed baby brine and uh just a little bit we're just going to sprinkle that on top of the water and they might go for it they might not it might take them a second to realize that it's up there because i haven't fed flake in a few days i've been feeding the buck pro so it doesn't look like they want to go for it so if they don't go for it i'll just net it off the surface and uh, not a big deal. If they do go for it, I see the Impanga Red, the one of them is, he's eyeing it. He doesn't know if he wants it or not. Um, they're picking at the substrate and stuff. But, uh, oh, there they go, there they go. They're going for it. And this is a, obviously, you know, a great flake food. You can use other flake foods. Um, my preference is just North Fin. That's what I like. Um, Cause it's a very organic fish food. Probably the, one of the most organic fish foods you can buy. And uh, there's no, there's not like fillers and stuff in it like that. Um, so it's very organic, very healthy. Um, great fish food. You can feed, you know, Omega One. You can feed New Life Spectrum. Whatever your preference is. Um, but I, I, you know, always keep a flake food on hand. If you feed pellets, always keep flake food for when you get a little bit bigger and then always keep fry starter because that's going to be a great source of protein for the fry. Um, and if you have the opportunity to look into hatching live baby brine, that's going to be uh, a game changer. And, uh, 
yeah so like the crude protein on this is 48 percent um the crude fat is 14 crude fiber two percent moisture nine percent ash nine percent so pretty good food um that's all i got for today's video um if you guys have any questions please put them down in the comments i love to hear the questions i love to answer the questions i like when people comment so uh definitely hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and i'll see you guys in the next video